All right, determine the density altitude for these conditions. Altimeter setting of 2925. Runway temperature of 81 degrees. And the airport elevation of 5,250. All right, so let's take a look at figure eight. That's your density altitude chart. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta do the pressure altitude conversion. And so what this does is it takes your altimeter setting and your airport elevation and it'll convert it to a pressure altitude. And that's what we're gonna use to determine our density altitude. So with an altimeter setting of 2925, we look on the chart here and 292, and then there's 292, 293. 2925 is in between them both. For the, for the sake of the chart, I round up to the next highest number, which gives you 579, or the highest number is in the highest pressure altitude. In all reality, since it's right in the middle, it really doesn't matter which one you pick because it's gonna be close enough. So if you do it with 579 the correction will be a positive number since it's on this side of the chart you're going to take your airport elevation and you're going to add 579 and that's going to give you 5829 so now our 500 5829 is the pressure altitude that we're going to go into on the next part of this question. So when we look at the chart, we got the density altitude, outside air temperature, which we have down here is 81 degrees. And you see how the scale on the bottom Fahrenheit goes up by 10, 60, 70, 80. So 81 is like right here, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this point and go straight up until we get to a pressure altitude of 5,829. If you look at these dash or this diagonal lines, these are the diagonal lines that you'll go up to for the particular pressure altitude you're trying to get to. So if we were going up to 1,000, we go here, we go to 2,000, we go here, we go to 3,000, we go here, 4,000, etc. But for this, we're going up to 5,829. So it's gonna be between here and here. It'll be probably about somewhere like right in there-ish. Something like that, close to it. So 5,829. Okay, so we start down at 81 degrees. We draw this line up until it gets to our 5,829. So that's where the temperature and the pressure altitude intersect. And we take that and we take it straight across. And when we take it straight across, it gives us our approximately density altitude in thousands of feet. And right there, what do we get? Well, that's an eight. Remember, it's thousands of feet. So we got 8,000. And then here we got 9,000. Being that it's the line in between it, it's 8,500. And guess what the answer is? 8,500. That's how you get it. Now, just to recap on one part of it that I want to highlight. So this chart right here, taking your altimeter setting and looking at the pressure altitude conversion factor, you can just, you can take 293 anything and then it'll take you to what the conversion factor is. Another way to do it, is you can just take 2992 and subtract whatever the altimeter setting is. So 2930, and it will give you the answer in hundreds of feet. So you add a, add a zero to it. So 620, exact number would be 620 feet correction. Now, if you do it that way versus doing it on the chart where you get 578, 
the answer is still going to be about the same. So it does not matter which way you do it as long as you have an actual method to do it. All right, there you go.